Hey guys, welcome to Electrofun. In today's video, I will talk about how you can use Altium uh, to generate the pick and place files, bill of materials and the Gerber files. That are essentially three main important uh, parts that you require for manufacturing. So let's get started. So I have my Altium open and then I have my schematic and my layout of course. So this is gonna be a very short video, but if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe because we are coming up with amazing videos every three weeks or so. So I have my schematic and my layout over here. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to know when you created a new project, where is that project located into your actual local memory? So I'll quickly go into that. So it's a, it, it's always over here, but it may vary depending on your uh, custom path that you have given. But for me, it is in user public documents where Altium folder was uh, created automatically. And then after that, I created those folder. This, this is how uh, it will look locally on your machine. Now, this is empty right now and this is also empty right now. So coming back to Altium again, I'll come to boards. Uh, so you have to be on the layout for that. And then I'll do uh, export or no fabrication output. And then it gives you a set of stuff that you can download. So first I will get all the Gerber files. So these are basically all the files or all the layers that you have in your um, layout. Some of them would be important. Some of them won't be important. So you have to make sure that you have all the important ones selected. For me, this is a two layer board where the top layer is signal and the bottom layer is uh, continuous ground. So I have top and bottom selected and the top overlay is where I have written everything over here. Uh, so basically uh, this r6 led5 icsp it's basically top overlay uh, then there is top solder and bottom solder it's basically uh, gives you a pad uh, this is paste top paste i need that as well uh, a bunch of mechanical layers but i don't have a lot on my mechanical layer and then the important layer over here is keep out layer this is basically an identification that this is the border of my board so it helps for manufacturers to know that okay this is the dimension of your board i will just click on apply okay this is generated we can close this we don't need that and you come back again over here you see all the required gerber files are generated now we also need one important file over here when we want this fabricated so we come over here in fabrication output and we go to nc drill files it's basically uh, the machine that is doing this should know that okay where the components are where you have where should i drill how much should i drill so you don't need to do a lot of setup over here i'll keep it in inches and then just okay and okay and okay so now you have basic set of uh, Gerber files where you can select all and then uh, zip those files. Now we will see how you can generate uh, assembly outputs. So uh, there are two things when it comes to manufacturing. One is uh, just getting the bare PCB and doing the assembly yourself. But if you want the manufacturer to do your assembly as well, you need to give them uh, pick and place files, which is apparently nothing but the exact location on your board um, for each components. So you click that, you have all the components. It has to be in CSV and then you just do that. And then it will generate all the pick and place uh, files for you. So we have most of the work over here, but the last thing is bill of materials. So click on reports and then you click on bill of materials. Now there are a bunch of settings that you can do over here. 
so columns are basically the uh, things that i have over here which is description designator footprint lcsc part lcsc part is nothing but uh, a unique part on jlc pcb library where if i am manufacturing this pcb from jlc i need to provide that and designator is one important thing that you cannot change if you change it would be difficult for them to locate your part and the location where it has to go and then you can basically select some more over here if you want to which could basically include include like your manufacturer part number or all those items and all you have to do is uh, select the file format as excel and then export it um, I will give this name as uh, my bill of materials that is all we have so we have the bill of materials we have the pick and place and we have the gubber file which includes the layout details and my NCDRL files so I hope this was uh, understood um, if I'm going very fast, you can just slow down a little bit, go back and watch it again. But this was pretty much how you can generate uh, files that you can use for uh, manufacturing either by JLC or advanced circuits or so on. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section below. Till then, like my channel, uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Thank you.